welcome back to my channel guys uh, today in this video i would show you how to design the common collector configuration of the npn bjd transistor amplifier so in the previous video we saw that how to design the common base uh, npn bjd transistor amplifier so i would use the same circuit and make a little bit tweaks in order to design the common collector transistor amplifier this is very simple design uh, we sim in this in the common collector transistor amplifier we have to short the collector terminal to the supply line directly so we would delete this resistor and simply short circuit the collector terminal of the transistor with the supply line that is 12 volt battery in our case and we would keep the biasing resistor same as it is and we would remove this uh, coupling capacitor from the base terminal and we would remove the ground terminal from the base instead we would now give the input to we would now give the input to the base of the transistor same as we did for the common emitter configuration okay and instead of getting output from the collector we would take the output from the emitter for the common collector transistor amplifier therefore we would place the capacitor here and we would connect this to the output the common collector transistor amplifier is also known as the emitter follower configuration this is because the output of the common collector or the emitter follower transistor configuration is same as the input uh, I mean that the whatever input you will give at its base the output would be the same so this circuit is useful in the sense that it is used as a buffer amplifier in many transistor applications in order to provide the current gain instead of the voltage gain so in comparison with the common uh, base amplifier where the common base amplifier has the current gain and voltage gain is equal to 1 but in the common collector uh, transistor amplifier which is this case here the current gain would be uh, would be some value and the voltage gain would be equal to 1 ok we would see that the voltage gain uh, of this configuration is equal to 1 that is the input and output uh, waveforms would be uh, in phase with each other and also they are uh, equal to uh, with each other in magnitude also ok so let's simulate the circuit so this is the common collector configuration we can use the comment here So this is the input and this is the output but output here seems to be very low uh, wait a minute I think I have done something right uh, <coughs> hmm. yes yes we have not used the decoupling capacitor here we also have to use this capacitor this these capacitors just to mention again that these c1 and c2 are the dc blocking capacitors that is whatever the dc component uh, arriving at this node would be blocked by these capacitors at the output and at the input so let us simulate again okay so we have got it here uh, so I think there is some issue with the emitter resistor I think we have to lower this resistance value I think okay we can also use the load resistor in order to see how much current is flowing through this resistor that will be 2.2 kilo ohm and 
and we should tweak this resistance that is the biasing resistance to 4.7k and see what happens now okay now as you can see the voltage at the output and voltage at the input are in phase with each other nearly and they are also nearly in equal amplitude with each other so <coughs> we would use another pane plot plane and we would see the output current this is the output current that is the current through r1 and this is the input current that is the current through the capacitor from this signal source right as you can see the current at the output at ir1 is amplified and the current at the input ic1 is slow we can use 4.7k resistor here let's see what happens okay and let us try to decrease this value to 1 kilo ohm in order to increase the output current okay the voltage has been trying to drop 70 ohms emitter resistance yes to 70 ohms okay so guys as you can see the voltage has been uh, the voltage signals are equal in magnitude and equal in phase while the output current has been amplified that is the red color is waveform is the output current and blue color light blue color waveform is the input current so this is the common collector or in other words emitter follower transistor configuration which is used widely in buffer amplifiers i hope you like this video and learned something about this emitter follower buffer configuration if you uh, learn something new in this video then please give a thumbs up and do like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much